Hi, so we're back at our book hanging out, messing around, and geeking out. And this time we're going to use the bibliography to identify items that are books. And once we've identified something as a book, we'll then take a look at how we can actually use some library resources to determine if we have this book either in print or online as an ebook. So let me jump down to the bibliography and I see here a book by William Corsero which was published in 1985. The title is Friendship and Peer Culture in the Early Years and then the, the parts of this citation that really tip me off that it's a book citation is that the last two elements are the place of publication in this case Norwood New Jersey and then a colon and then the publisher itself in this case Ablix so that's enough to tell me that I'm looking at a book citation with the title Friendship in Pure Culture in the Early Years. Now, to determine if you can actually get your hands on this book through the St. Rose Library, we're going to just jump over to the library's main page, which again is library.strose.edu, and we're going to use All Night Search to figure out if it's here. I will need to go to the Advanced Search interface, so I'm going to click on that. And then a couple things I'm going to do here. First of all, I'm going to limit my search to catalog only. That's going to limit the things that we have cataloged, and primarily that's going to be our books and ebook collections. And then I'm going to type the beginning of the title itself. I don't necessarily have to put the whole title in, but just three or four words that would tend to be a little bit unique. And I'm going to change this to a title search and process it. So great. What this is showing me is that we do have that book, Friendship and Peer Culture in the Early Years. All the citation information matches up with what I had in the bibliography. And down below I see uh, information about where it is. It's in the basement of the library. The call number will allow me to get to it uh, directly. And it's available. It might have said uh, date due June 2nd, 2015 or something like that. But if it's as available, it means it should be on the, the shelf. So you can just go down and, and find it that way. Now let's take a look at another book citation. Uh, and this time we'll have a little more trouble finding it in our collection. So we have something in the bibliography by Richard Florida. Again, the citation is set up just like the first one, where we have the author, the year the book was published, the title, in this case is the rise of the creative class, the place of publication, New York, and the publisher, Basic Books. So I'm going to go back to All Night Search and I'm going to be looking for the rise of creative cult of, sorry, rise of the creative class. And I'll process that search. And it's telling me that no results were found. So I just wanted to make you aware of what you would see if you're searching for something using All Night Search that is not available through the library. Now there would be a way for me to request this book uh, to be delivered to the library through a service that we call Interlibrary Loan. There will be a separate video about how to use Interlibrary Loan in case you might be interested. Now I want to take a look at a third item from the bibliography and it's by James Paul G. published in 2003. The title is What Video Games Have to Teach Us About Learning and Literacy, New York. Palgrave Macmillan. Uh, very definitely a, a citation to a book. So we're looking for what video games have to teach us. And you'll notice that I just uh, toggled back and forth from the bibliography to All Night Search. If you're doing any type of research where you're going to be looking for multiple books, you can just keep going back and forth and it, it's a very quick way to just repopulate this particular box and, and do your search. So let's see what we find here. So in this case, uh, we do have the book. It's, it's the same book we saw cited. But notice down in the uh, library information, it tells me it's an ebook and it's available online. So this is not, not a book that you could walk into a library and find the printed copy on the shelf. This is one that we have uh, made available and you can actually read it online. Notice uh, above this library information, there's a link click here for access. And when I do that, this will actually 
bring me to the full book, which I can read online. I can search for particular keywords, which might be very helpful if I'm looking for something very uh, specific. Uh, or I could download this whole book and read it on my iPad or other device if that's the way I wanted to go about using it. So uh, I think you can see that uh, identifying books from this, the bibliography is fairly easy. They all have the same format in terms of their citation. And the uh, end part where you have the publisher, uh, the place of publication and the publisher's name are really the, the key points that will tip things off and, and let you know that it is a, a book you're looking at. Not too hard.